suspects or motive in the murder of rapper and actor Tupac Shakur, who died last Friday the 13th after being gunned down in a drive-by following the Mike Tyson Bruce Selden boxing match September 7th. Meanwhile, on Thursday night in Los Angeles, we spoke with Marion Suge Knight, head of Tupac's label, Death Row Records, and the man who was driving the car, sitting right next to Tupac when he was shot. Knight, who himself was grazed in the head by a bullet, was prevented by his lawyers from addressing the shooting itself. But here, for the first time on television, he speaks publicly about its aftermath. How are you feeling, and how are you doing physically? I feel like this. I feel that... The last word is always God, but Pac saved my life. The reason why I say Pac saved my life. I got shot in the head, got sprayed some other places, but I still got the bullet in my head that's still there. But for is trying to get him to the hospital, didn't make me realize that I was shot. Because usually when you get shot in the head, the first thing the person do is panic. You know, bam, I'm shot in the head, I'm about to die, you know. And you, once you do that, you can't drive nowhere. My whole thing was, when Pac said he was shot, I'm like, you shot? I'm going to get you to the hospital. I'm driving, telling him I'm going to get you to the hospital, kick back. Pac looked at me and said, you know what? You need the doctor more than me. You're the one shot in your head. And we laughed the whole time going to find out which to the hospital. That's the conversation we had. It wasn't, Pac was a man the whole time. It wasn't that he was like, oh, I'm shot. He cracking jokes. He's like, yeah, they shot me. He said, but you shot in your head. Look at your head. Your head bleed. Look how much it's bleed. That was pot. And I'm like, man, shut up. I'm going to get you to the doctor. So he, he was conscious on the way to the hospital. <laughs> he was conscious on the way to the hospital. He was conscious in the ambulance. He was conscious after, um, after they did the surgery. What was the last thing that he said to you? They loved me. We was in the, you know, we was going in the, we was on the thing. It was getting there. I'm like, Pac, you good? You the, we the last one left. When we talking, this is how we talking. He said, homie, I'm straight. I love you, homie. I'm going to be straight. I love you, too. Ooh, ooh. That's, that's, that's what it was. There was a, a report earlier this week in the New York Post that Tupac was looking to leave death row records. Mm -hmm. Is that true? You should answer that. You don't take a person like Tupac who, if you listen to every song on All Eyes on Me, every song on Machiavelli, Every time he do an interview, what's the first thing he say? Death Row. Tupac loved Death Row. Tupac loved me. I loved him. I mean, Tupac took Death Row to the next level. I mean, we, we worked hard, and we, we laid the foundation down, and Snoop took the baton, and he ran with it, and he did a great job with it. When Tupac got the baton, not only did he win the race, he finished so fast that he was able to sit back and drink some Thug Passion and come up with another plan. I mean, if, if a person, if you'd ask Tupac that question, that he was he planning on leaving Death Row, he definitely would have cuss you out. A lot of people in the hip-hop community have said that this incident will change hip-hop. This is a really landmark event, tragic event at that and that the music will probably never be the same. Do you see uh, the direction of Death Row changing? Is there going to be a different type of music put out? Not at all. We're going to do the same thing we've been doing and sell records, like I said before. My main goal is fulfill Tupac's dreams. And Tupac would definitely never want the music to change, all the style. So we're going to keep it the way he would like it. Three.